I'm Carl Anthony with AutoSense TV here at AutoSense Brussels 2019 from the Auto World Museum. We're speaking today with Werner Brockherter, head of the Optical Sensor Business Unit for Fraunhofer IMS. And Werner, so good to have you today. Yes, yeah, thank you very much, Carl. Um, yes, may I, may I start with a short introduction of our institute, what we are doing, maybe? I think that's a, that, that's a great way. I was just going to ask that question. Let's do that. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are one of 72 institutes, I believe it's 72, uh, and uh, we are located in the west of Germany, in Duisburg, and our business is uh, based on CMOS technology. So we are uh, working from the beginning on CMOS technologies since 1985 with uh, development of special CMOS processes, uh, circuit design, chip prototyping and even pilot production of, uh, of, of uh, uh, silicon chips. So that's our main business and uh, for me I'm a head of the optical sensors uh, business unit. We are into integrating CMOS, uh, sorry, optical sensors into the CMOS process. So that's our main activity and with that we did a lot of uh, new devices in, in a CMOS process, for example SPAT devices which we are also showing here. Uh, we also have, uh, um, besides uh, CMOS technology, we have microsystems technology, also a huge clean room which we use where we do back-end processing of chips, for example, for this LiDAR technology, but also for the far infrared technology uh, where we do the uh, chip scale package, uh, vacuum package, microbolometer technology for, for thermal imaging. So there are a lot of uh, different applications which we serve with our technology. So, Werner, we were talking off camera about the activities that you have specifically for LiDAR. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, wonderful. Um, yes, we are in, in the LiDAR uh, range, you can imagine, um, active in the uh, detectors. So, we have developed some uh, special detectors for LiDAR based on SPAT technology, single photon avalanche diode, which we think is the best way to detect very few photons which you need for LiDAR systems. So if you want to get large distances, you need very sensitive devices and the SPAT is a very, it's, it's a best suited candidate. Sure, sure. And uh, uh, so the integration of SPAT into the CMOS technology allows for different new applications. So we can integrate SPAT arrays together with the electronics on the same chip and with this uh, integra co-integration of both uh, detector and readout and processing circuitry, uh, we have potentially very low-cost devices at the end. So in LiDAR you have the problem that the LiDAR is still very expensive and we are on this way to make it cheaper. So our approach is pure solid state without any moving uh, elements, Maybe also without uh, micromirrors, you can use flash, but you can also use the SPAT arrays with uh, micromirrors. That's also possible. Uh, and uh, yes, that's what we are doing. And uh, today, or we on this fair, we first introduce a new way of integration. The new way is to have uh, two layers. Uh, as I mentioned, you have a lot of electronics together with your SPAT arrays. So we integrate the spread array on top of the electronics now. So we have two wafers. We do wafer bonding, which is a, a very sophisticated technology. Wafer bonding, face-to-face, -to -face, two wafers. The, the lower wafer, the readout I see, with all the electronics, and the upper wafer is the detector. So the advantage is that you can optimize both layers. You can optimize the circuit layer for, uh, for minimum feature size, for low power and so on. And you can optimize the detector array uh, for the right wavelengths. So uh, at, uh, the CMOS spats are not very sensitive in the near infrared, but with a uh, um, separate layer on top of, uh, of the readout, you can optimize it for near infrared, for example. And with that, you can have man much more pixels on the same area uh, as you have in, uh, when you integrate it in one layer. So about 10 to 50 times more pixel on, on the same layer. So actually, we have a very small array in fabrication. It's only 64 by 48 pixels that will come out of the fab end of this month. <laughs> and we are very excited <laughs> to get the results. And, but this is scalable, so you can scale it up to, to uh, VGA resolution or something like that. Yeah. So, Werner, tell us a little bit about what you have on display here at AutoSense for the mm -hmm. attendees to see. 
Yeah, so what, what we can see here, unfortunately, is not this um, sensor I just mentioned. So we have a time of flight sensor or LiDAR sensor based on, uh, on two linear arrays, so it's only two linear arrays, two times 192 pixels, and each of these pixels has a time to digital converter, so we can in one shot uh, measure the distance for all these uh, almost 400 pixels. So that's, that's what we can show here. Uh, this is very sensitive, as I mentioned, and uh, yes, we are mainly working on the uh, on the side of the detector. But uh, of course, we need for this demonstration we need also a camera. We need illumination. We need optics and so on. So we work also on this area. Especially, we are working on uh, background light suppression, which is uh, very important, especially for the automotive applications. Um, we have developed uh, a lot of uh, new algorithms, uh, filed a lot of patents in this field yeah. also. Um, and uh, this is one activity. Another activity is uh, due to the fact that we talk to almost every tier one and OM. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of knowledge about this uh, area and we know that there is a uh, great confusion about the right systems and what we are trying to do is we try to benchmark the technologies and as a research institute I think we are the right uh, organization to to do benchmarking of this technology so that's a great request from the industry because they are all very confused about this. <laughs> Werner, uh, we want to thank you for your time. Do you have any final thoughts to add before we conclude our interview? Yes, we believe that in future LiDAR systems in cars, there will be not only one LiDAR. So at the end, might be there is a far-looking scanning LiDAR, but there will also be some flash LiDARs seeing around the car, 360 degree around the car, which uh, uh, will look not, not 100 or 200 meters, but 30 to 50 meters, uh, and that's enough. And these, but because you have some of these devices, it, they have to be very cheap. And we believe in solid state flash lighter systems based on our technology, of course. <laughs> Werner, thank you for your time. From all of us at AutoSense TV, we want to wish you good luck going forward and safe travels home. Yeah, thank you very much, Carl. Speaking today with Werner Brockherder from Fraunhofer IMS at AutoSense Brussels 2019. For more AutoSense, like, subscribe, and share. Mm -hmm.